For much of its life, the Chevrolet Camaro has been built in Canada. Previous generations were built in a factory north of Montreal in a place variably called Saint-Thérèse or Boisbriand. It's now a shopping mall. The new generation Camaro introduced in 2009 was built in Oshawa. And just last year, GM Canada was so proud of the new ZL1 Camaro coupe and convertible, probably the most powerful car ever built in Canada, how flexible the factory was. They can build rear drive, front drive, four wheel drive cars, all on the same assembly line. Well, when the next generation Camaro comes out, that goes away because it's going to be built in Lansing, Michigan. And Michael Moore, we know how you feel. Now, I'm as nationalistic as the next guy, probably more so than most, and you'd probably expect me to get all cranky about this. Certainly there'll be a lot of teeth gnashing from the Canadian Auto Workers Union. They're abandoning the country, abandoning the workforce, and they're not following up on their commitments after Canada bailed the company out, and blah, blah, blah. The fact remains that decisions like this are made on a business basis, not a political basis. Canada used to be one of the cheapest places in the world to build a car, but now, thanks to our petrodollar, it's one of the most expensive places to build a car. And GM has decided that it's more efficient to focus their rear drive cars in the Lansing factory. That'll include the Cadillac HES, the CTS, and the new Camaro. Now, if you can conclude from that that the new Camaro will be based on that architecture, move to the head of the class. Oshawa will continue to build the Regal, the new Cadillac XTS, and the upcoming generation of the Chevy Impala. Now, if you're all concerned about job loss, well, think about the fact that Camaro, as high image a car as it was, was pretty low volume. They should sell a whole lot more Impalas. So if you got some real concern for your brothers in Oshawa, go buy an Impala. I'm Jim Kenzie.